And it was a wild police chase that stretched more than 30 miles, lasted nearly an hour. Tonight we learned that the suspect in this case is a 10-time convicted felon. According to new court papers, the suspect twice tried to run into officers who were trying to arrest him. Couples Ryan Sims has been closely following this chase and the aftermath since it happened. And Ryan, we're learning now just how many close calls there were during this pursuit. Yeah, it could have been disastrous, Preston. According to these court papers out today, not only did police officers have to duck to avoid being hit, but soon dozens of other people randomly were in harm's way as well. Our pounding video from Guardian One shows just how many drivers narrowly avoided disaster, with this man, Brandon Wilburn, being the person who allegedly caused all of it. We've got people walking. It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, people are going home from work. Wilburn has not yet been charged with this pursuit, but prosecutors say his lengthy rap sheet may have been the reason why he allegedly did all of this. That's because the 10-time convicted felon has been in trouble for everything from robbery and assault to DUI and malicious mischief. Just made a U-turn. And now comes this chase. The speeds that were involved, the, the danger of it, uh, and, and the length of it all, all combines to, to make it a fairly dramatic scene. Wilburn is accused of striking two police cruisers. He's also accused of trying to deliberately hit an officer on I-90. It just goes to show the determination that some people have um, to get away from the police. This chase lasted from Bellevue all the way to North Bend. It only came to an end when Wilburn allegedly ditched this stolen car in a tree farm, but was then prevented from running away because of the nearby Snoqualmie River. Now, Woodburn currently in the King County Jail on half a million dollars bond. Prosecutors tell us they hope to charge him with such crimes as assault, motor vehicle theft, and eluding. They hope those charges come down by Monday. Coming to you live from Seattle tonight, Ryan Sims, Como News.